welcome back to Palm Breeze Cafe. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. It's not. It's computers for the completely oh, clueless. Oh, gee. You're <laughs> I had to too throw you a curve. smart for me, Lee. <laughs> okay, I'm Lee uh, Keller. We got Kim Cavanaugh here. All right. And this gonna... is computers for the completely clueless. So, and we're talking about the very exciting world of the control panel. You know what? It, it's, it's something that you don't go to very often, but when you go there, you have to know what and, you're looking at. You know, the thing is, too, we're going to talk about actually about keyboard and mouse and, and that kind of stuff. And, and these are things that can really make your computing experience more satisfying for mm -hmm. you. Um, let's say, for instance, that maybe you've got a physical disability. Yeah, and, and it's hard here. for you to use a mouse, or you, 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 you know, or or you hold keys down too long. Right. Uh, you know. So there's some settings that we're going to talk about now yeah. that really kind of relate to the physical way that you interact with the computer, and and that's the mouse and the keyboard. So we're going to start with the keyboard first of all. Well, let's talk about this for a minute. We skip Java. Oh, okay. Because we don't want to get into that. Good. That's just but a plug-in that lets your computer do additional things when you're primarily online. Very important one to have, though. Yes, it is. So let's go into keyboards here, and I'm going to jump over to speed. It went right to key settings first, but I want okay. to go over to speed. Uh, this is your character repeat. In other words, if you hold a key down, how long do I have to hold it down before it starts doing, like, for the period? You know, a whole bunch of dots across the screen. Right, right. So I can tell it how long to hold that. Because so I've had in, in my classes students that have held it down just by accident, and then all of right. a sudden it's running oh, across yeah, the yeah. screen. So it's, so it's way too fast. So, so in that case, that. we want the delay to be longer, mm -hmm. right? In other words, you want the, 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 the repeating to take longer in between. You would slide it towards the longer. Yeah. Now, once you do hold it down and you do want it to repeat, do you want it to go shooting across the screen real fast, or do you want to control this a little bit with speed? Okay. Now, a lot of our older viewers might want to slow this down because they only want those dots to go across so far. Right. By slowing it down, you've got a little more control okay. over it. You still have to wait, but it might be worth the wait to get it right. All right. And then here you can actually test it. So I'm holding down the dot, and there's my speed. So That's beautiful. Now, if I want to increase the speed back up here, and I click down here, I can see that it goes a little bit faster right, there. Right, So, nice place to test what you've been setting up there. Okay. Okay, the cursor blinker rate. I don't know why I have to adjust <laughs> yeah. that, but for some people that might drive them nuts. So, you, you can actually turn off the blinker. Okay, so just sitting there is that bar. Or that you can make it go really quick and blinky. Oh, that's which, exciting. Lee. That would drive that's me nuts. That's just so but, exciting. But, you know, basic thing, something to look at. Right. Looking over at the hardware, remember, we're looking at the keyboard settings. It's going to show you what keyboard you're using. Okay. Sometimes you might buy a wireless keyboard for your computer, mm -hmm. and it didn't switch for some reason. Right, and there's also a troubleshoot button down there at the bottom. If you're having trouble with your keyboard, um, then this might be able to help you find out what that problem is. And okay. this is always good news here. This device is working properly. I love seeing that message. Yeah, okay, let's go to key settings. Real quickly here, there's some little things that you so can assign. So these are like shortcut keys, special, special things keys that you for can my assign. keyboard. Yeah. So if you've got something, and, and this especially some people that are using the same applications over and over and over again, mm -hmm. uh, you can set up special keyboard shortcuts so a, an action will be performed when you do a certain thing. Now you can do zooming on our keyboard, so there's a, a special tab just for zooming, so okay. you can zoom in and out of things. All right. And then your wireless keyboard, it's checking the battery life and the signal, which is a good thing to check on. Very good. Nothing really fancy there, yeah. but things to look at. Right, but I think when we get into the mouse, I think which is the uh, next thing we want to look at. Yeah. We're going to um, skip mail. We'll skip mail because that's really a topic for another show. Now, this, again, I think is where, where, where a lot of folks, and we, we do have a lot of people that are, that are older, and we both taught adult ed classes. And uh, we've got people that are left-handed. Left-handed, yeah, I know, uh, like the president. So um, if you're left-handed, you might want to switch the, the buttons on the mouse. Most people, when we say right-click, that means your index finger on your yeah. right hand, right? Um, but if you're left-handed, well, that may be awkward for you. Now, so you might want to make it the index finger, which would be the right button, not yeah. the left button. Okay, so you can flip those around, and if or you've got now you've got your mouse over here, and it might be more natural for you to have uh, those buttons reversed if yeah. you happen to be left-handed. We also okay. found we had a problem with this. Yeah, that got in there. Okay, double click speed. Now, this again, this is going to be really, um, this could be really critical. If you're a little bit slower in, in, in double clicking, uh, the computer might not recognize it as a double click. It might think it's just a single click. And you'll normally double click when you want to open um, an application, mm -hmm. open up a document, or have something happen. So you can use these settings to um, to make it work faster for you. 
And I'm going to get out of this a minute real quick here because oh, we're stuck on the what's this button. Yeah, I don't know All why right. that one comes up and okay. so come back in. What you're going to see when you go in, when we get back in there, is that there's actually a little folder that you can test it out. So if you're finding that when you're using the computer and you're trying to double-click something, it doesn't behave the way you could ex you'd expect, a lot of times what it is is it doesn't really uh, recognize your double-clicks as double-clicks. So if you double-click now on that folder, Lee, that little icon there, Okay, see how that opens up. Now, if you okay. make it really slow, okay, can change that come down, and double click it again. You can see, I'm clicking like right, one, so you can go two. Click, click. Yeah. All right, so that might be something that you might want to look on. And for a lot of our older viewers, that's a very good thing to do. Right. Now, the click lock lets yeah. you do, yeah, we, nobody ever really uses that. All this right, is a part here we got to go. We've got to make dinosaurs out of our pointers. Right? Okay, so. This is for the camera crew. Because I know they're into these kind of things. Okay, so we can choose a scheme, and there's a whole lot of them. That so come you're with not it. stuck with just a little white and black uh, arrow that flies around the screen. Look at our new uh, mouse I think settings. That is so. That would be perfect. Yeah, if some you've of the got guys a, here at the, at the station. Yeah, they, they, they I think some of them dinosaurs. already use it. Dinosaurs. Oh, they would love that. And then there are other schemes in here. Now, what you want to do is, uh, once you finish that, you want to save it. You can save it as another thing, right. and you can actually change some of these. Now, again, some of those, uh, there are some that are bigger. So maybe, mm -hmm. you, again, you if you're having trouble seeing, you can get that magnified one there. There's an extra uh, large. Right. Yep, and there are extra large, and the color schemes are, 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 are changeable as well. So if you find that you're having trouble seeing the, 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 the cursor as it's floating around, you can always change these. Okay. Okay. Now we go to the uh, pointer options. This is how fast that pointer is going to go. So Most of these, I think, mo are yeah, they're fun to play with for about the first ten minutes, and then yeah, ah, it's annoying. If you need to change them, they're there. Uh, whether or not you want to see that trail of the mouse as it goes by, and I've actually had some older people want that because right. they can't find the mouse. Right. So and if it leaves a little trail, basically leaves a little shadowy. Much um, easier to find. Right. And if you see that appearing, as and you've got kids at home they probably turned this on. So, and then here's another thing. Show the oh, location it's, it's, of the pointer doing it now. when I press the control key. Oh, yeah, there's your mouse handy. thing. There's your little trail. Turn but if we on. do this, and then I come up here and I hit the control key, oh. it does like a little radar oh, thing. Oh, that's cool. Shows you right where the mouse is. I have ever turned that one on. I may have to try that one. Yeah. It, it Sometimes you a get a lot of stuff on the windows, and you can actually forget where you put your mouse, and you're moving it all Especially the way. Especially for using two uh, monitors. Right, right. You can also control your mouse wheel. Now, I like this one, too, because this allows me to go faster through a document if I'm scrolling with my mouse you wheel. Can, you can Maybe. change the number of lines or right. tell it to do an entire screen every time that wheel clicks. Okay. So, again, how fast or how slow things happening as, as you're working on that, uh, the mouse wheel. And the last one is the hardware, and that's just really telling you that your device is working properly. All right. Now, you're going to turn off that. Uh, oh, God. That's driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah, I where, know. where was that? Pointer, pointer options, options. Pointer trails. Whew. But I do like this control thing. That, that's sort that's of a nice handy. thing. I may, I may have to use that one myself. So we've only got about another minute left. Uh, we're going to be able to touch on network connections. No, I think we'll save that one for next All week. Right, we will. We got halfway through the alphabet, though, mm -hmm. and uh, in the course of three shows. So the things to remember today, again, Internet Options is, is where you have basically the control panel for lots yeah. of things about your Internet, not just your browser. Okay. And if you've got kids at home, this is a, a good first step on security, controlling what yeah. kind of security or what kind of websites that they have. We also talked about the keyboard and the mouse and how you can make those physical devices more suitable for, for how you Makes use it friendly your for your experience. Right. That's an important thing. Right. Well, next week we're going to talk more about control panel and taking control of your computer. So uh, please be sure to join us. On Computers for the Completely Clueless. Or Palm Breeze Cafe, <laughs> depending on how we decide <laughs> to announce it this week. Either way. We'll see you next week.